All right, guys. Um, this is how we do this. I'm about to share with you my trading strategy all this while. First of all, I want you guys to understand that this is what works for me. After trying so many strategies and combining it with what I need to do, I have other things that I need to do apart from trading. I'm not trading full time. So this is just what works for me, trading part time. There are days that I might not get trading setups and I'm very, very okay with it. But on daily basis, I get three to four trading setups that if you take them, you can you surely not end your day as a loser. You will still make money. Okay. Um, the thing is this. I think this is, for me, this is better than trading and losing. They say doing analysis, trading price action, following the chain, whatever, all those things, I have traded them. I have tried scalping, I've tried uh, swing trading. It doesn't just work for me because I'm not patient enough to let my trade run the way it should. Because once I have a trade running, my mind will always be like, every hour or every now and then, I have to go and check the trade. I need to, like, I don't always allow my trades to run for too long. So swing trading is not for me. Holding a trend, a trade, riding the trend for too long, that's still something that doesn't really work for me that well, though it's good. But it doesn't really work for me. So what I do is I just follow the trend. Trade with the trend. When a pullback is taking place, I get out. After the pullback, I get in. So that is just what I do. And with the use of the indicators I have, the indicators I'm using, they permit me to do that really well. So um, first of all, for this strategy to work for you, you need to understand that you don't trade against the trend, no matter how tempting. It is. Don't trade against a trend. If you are doubting an opportunity, don't take it. Let it be. You must not trade. It is better to stay out and have keep the money you have than to get in and lose it. That's just what it is. You don't trade against the trend. And you don't try predict the end of a trend. Just let the indicators do it for you. The indicators will tell you what to do. I am not in a rush. That's one thing you need to understand. I might not be sounding logical right now, but the thing is, is this is what I do. I don't need to stress too much. I make money with what I'm doing. So what you need to do is, uh, you need to let the indicators tell you what to do. When the indicators tell you that this uptrend or this downtrend is over, you start looking for clear opportunities. Okay, let me prove that to you. The indicators I use, they tell you when the market is changing direction and how, when to enter the market. You need to understand, Bollinger Band and nine exponential moving average, like I initially explained to you guys. Bollinger Band and nine exponential moving average, it tells you when the trend is over. And for you to know if it, the trend is over, you need to look at four hours. It is on four hours that you know that the market has really changed direction. If you want to use the Bollinger Band and the nine exponential moving average on one hour, you will lose money. That is, to use the nine exponential moving average and the Bollinger Band, determine the end of a trend 
on one hour, you will lose your money. Get that. But if you use it on four hours, you know when the trend has come to an end. You hardly lose money. Let me prove that to you. Okay, first of all, we go to knowing when the trend has changed direction. Bollinger Band and the nine exponential moving average. Okay, here we are. We start from here. Let me zoom in a bit for you to really see what I'm talking about. Okay, initially, um, I told you that I told you guys that when the trend of the market is changing, when the the nine this is in the red this is the nine exponential moving average and all these blue uh, green lines you see kind of light blue let me put it that way they are all Bollinger Band so when the nine exponential moving average crosses the middle part of the Bollinger Band, you know that the market has changed direction. Here, you start looking for buy opportunities. Now, let's switch to one hour and see what one hour tells us. First of all, this was in March. So we go to one hour and then We go to early March. Early March when all of this started. Uh, you guys will say exactly what I'm trying to say. Uh, here we go. Nero is a little bit messy. I guess this is where we were and uh, from here this is where the change in trend happened you see what I was trying to tell you that if you're using one hour to know when the market has changed direction or maybe the trend of the market has changed just know that you are looking for trouble serious one so what you do is this is the match that the market changed direction here so what happened after that? How do we get an entry? After we discover that the market has changed direction, you use your 50 exponential moving average. This is where the magic happened. There was a cross and a retest. So here, the market already told us that it has changed direction from down here. The market changed direction from down here. And then looking at the nine exponential moving average, the market has broken it and it has done something like uh, some kind of a retest. So you discover that these moving averages, they are powerful too because you have a market breaking it and retesting it. This is exactly what happened. So, and then we have a cross here. A cross, nine exponential moving average crossing over the middle part of the Bollinger Band, the middle moving average of the Bollinger Band. So what happened? We could take a buy from here. There's already a cross. On four hours, we, we, we already figured out that the trend of the market has changed. We figured that out, that the trend of the market has changed. So here we are. And remember, just taking a trade is not good enough. You need to follow your risk management. So if we were to take a trade from here, at this point, you could be expecting some surprises. Maybe the market will spark back down, come back down to this level, and your setup will not be valid. So you, you have to manage your risks well. First of all, we want to trade with this strategy. What you need to do is you open a single position open a single position with the lowest lot size don't be in a rush to make too much money open one position with a single lot size with 
the smallest with the small lot size sorry and then when next the market pulls back into the nine exponential moving average on one hour you can open another position if you want to but for me i don't always do it because once i get my entry my take profit is 50 pips i can just set it take profit 50 pips the market goes my way and then uh, it can go my way for about 20 pips i move my stop loss to my entry protect my profit protect myself once i know that i'm protected i can relax maybe forget about the trade go and do other things that i need to do for the day i only come back maybe in the evening or in the afternoon to come and see how things went so if i set my take profit 50 pips 70 pips it depends i'll show you guys exactly how i set my take profit but this is what you need to understand this is where it all starts the crossover taking place on four hours for you to determine that the market has changed direction. You take your trade, open one position from here when the cross takes place. And you can see even on uh, one hour, you discover that for the trend of the market to change, the market has to be above the 50 exponential moving average. This black is a 50 exponential moving average so you know black is a 50 exponential moving average so for you to know that the market has changed direction the market must be above the 50 exponential moving average that is for an uptrend and for a downtrend the market must be below it. okay now so you take your buy from here set your take profit you can set your take profit 20 pips uh, sorry 50 pips not bad if you set your take profit 50 pips you see that's exactly what you get 50 pips yeah you get your 50 pips and you're good but for somebody that maybe you want more from the market you can hold on to the trade and enter another position when the market enters the nine exponential moving average you open another position, continue writing. You're trading with the trend, so you got nothing much to worry about. And uh, one more thing, if a cross takes place, if another cross, that is the nine exponential moving average, crossing the, the middle part of the Bollinger Band, indicating that there is something like the market has changed direction or something, don't take the trade. It is a trap. I'll show you why. I'll tell you why it's a trap. Okay. Uh, this is it. Here we are. The market crossed the middle. The nine exponential moving average. Cross the middle moving average of the uh, Bollinger Band. But you are not going to sell. Because the market is still above the 50 exponential moving average. Assuming this cross took place and you sold this market, what would have happened to you? You'd be losing money. That's why I said, I use the Bollinger Band and the nine exponential moving average to determine a change in the direction of the trend on four hours. And then I use my uh, 50 exponential moving average to determine my entry. As simple as that I don't need to stress I just need to wait for the market to come to me and I trade if I don't find an opportunity I don't worry about that I just trade that's what I do okay so here we are here we have a cross which we will obviously ignore because uh, it's not coming from somewhere we can trust it is not a cross for us to consider because the market is still above the nine exponential moving, above the 50 exponential moving average, sorry. Okay, here we are. So now the market came, this is where you use the 50 exponential moving average to get your entry. Remember I said I use the 50 exponential moving average to get my entries. 
following the trend. Okay. So here it is. The market came into the 50 exponential moving average. Then we can see some rejection candles. The market being rejected by the 50 exponential moving average. So you take your buy position from here. Take your take profit. Take profit 50 pips. 50 pips should be somewhere here. Let's say, yeah, you take your take profit to be 50 pips. Okay, let's say you take this trade. Then in this case, you're riding with a trend. You always need to have a stop loss too. So uh, if you take the trade from here, you said your take profit to be something here, your take profit should be somewhere here. Your stop loss should be about uh, looking at a stop loss. Your stop loss should be you look at the lowest candle, maybe the rejection candle. Stop loss should be something like 20 to 20 to 30 pips, or let's just say 20 pips below the 50 exponential moving average. Once you get that straight, it's not that difficult. But the, the, what you need to understand is that once the market pulls back into the 50 exponential moving average, it always reverses. It always reverses to continue going the direction of the trend. So you're just putting a stop loss should in case you don't know what may happen. The market is full of surprises. But most cases, I don't put any stop loss. When I get up in the morning, I said I get my trading opportunities. What I do is I get my trading opportunities, set my take profit, and then monitor the trades. Once the trades have gone into something like 20 pips profit, I lock my position. I lock my position, move my stop loss to entry, lock the position. See how the rest of the day will go. I can maybe concentrate on other things. Only come back and check later, see what happens. So here we are. If you took this trade from here, this market would have gone something like from here. This market will have gone 28 pips, not 31 pips. Then you move your stop loss to your entry, waiting for the market to give you the rest of your 50 pips. When the market decided to come back down into the 50 exponential moving average, into the 50 exponential moving average, and even move against you, by 14 pips. So in this case, you would have to observe price action again to know exactly what is happening, if you should take another position or not. So the market still play back into your favor. After what happened, hitting your, your stop loss at entry, you had practically nothing to lose. The market came back into the 50 exponential moving average. You had to observe, look at what the candles are telling you. Sometimes you need to switch to 15 minutes, 30 minutes to, to look at what the candles are telling you, what the market is telling you on a lower time frame. I would like to assume that uh, you study uh, candlesticks, you know reversal candles and all that. So once you spot rejection and multiple rejection, or you just look at the behavior of the candle, you will know exactly what to do. If that market will continue dropping or it will continue going up. And finally, we had an indication that this market could buy. So what did we do? This was another opportunity for you to enter another position open a buy again. And this time around, opening your buy position from here, take profit, 50 pips. You will have gotten your 50 pips. Sometimes you got more, about 
70, 77, or let's just say 70 pips, 75 pips, or whatever. It all depends on you. What do you want to get? You want to trade with a trend, that's okay. And uh, sometimes if I'm available to monitor the trade, once I get the 50 pips that I'm looking for, and I discover that maybe the market can continue going up, you can still lock your position by 30 pips. Let's say you took your, you took a trade from here, then the market went up, gave you 50 pips, you will have moved your stop, your take profit maybe to a higher target, move your take profit to a higher target and shift your stop loss, protect maybe about 20 pips of what you've already made from the market and allow the drama continue to play. Maybe the market can continue from there and give you more or can give you less, but for me, I always just get out because in a day, if I get my two, three opportunities, I'm fine. I get out. Those three opportunities can give me 150 pips. That's that's enough for me. I'm contented with that. Okay. One more thing, one more rule for this strategy to work. Avoid trading the news. If you know that a particular pair has a news, don't trade it. Or you make sure that you are in a safe position in that market, either by getting out of the trade before the news or locking your profit. If you're in profit, you lock your position. If you're in losses, you might want to consider putting a stop loss where you're comfortable. Because look at it. If you had taken this position from here, you got your 50 pips, that's okay. And then now, suddenly what happened? The market came down into a 50 exponential moving average again. And you decide to take another trade just to catch up with the market because you know it's an uptrend, blah, 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 what may happen. You want to catch up with the market. You just open a position here immediately. What happened? The market went down again by about 200 and something pips. 211 pips. Where will you find yourself? you find yourself bleeding. So that is exactly why you need to avoid trading the news. You don't want to be in this position. With the lowest lot size, 0 0.01, this is about $20. You'll find your account bleeding. This is not a comf comfortable position to, to be. But all the same, the market had to come back down and maintain the trend. So from here, you could discover that uh, the market has continued, maybe taken the direction that it was normally supposed to take. After the break, the market went back up and came back into a 50 exponential moving average where you could have taken a very safe entry from here. Take another entry and keep your mind open. What happened? Boom. Well, I've gotten something like maybe more than 50 pips this time around. And uh, one thing I want you guys to understand. Before the market, once the market is in an uptrend, it will always, it will always go back to the high or the low of that market. Sometimes I might even break it. Remember from here, we took a trade of 50 pips. Our 50 pips were somewhere here. But if you look at it, this is where the high of the market is. This particular point. This point here, sorry. Uh, this might be long, but uh, it is worth it. In as much as you guys will be able to get what I'm trying to make you understand. Okay, this is the high of this market. The high of this market. So before the market maybe pulls back again, it might, it must, it must meet the high of the market in an uptrend. Let's say this market was in an uptrend from behind This market was in an uptrend from behind and uh, 
from here, yeah, from behind here, we knew that this market was not an uptrend. And then at some point, this was the high that the market was able to attend. What happens? Once the market gets into the 50 exponential moving average, before it reverses, it must reach the initial high. Sometimes it has to break it because that's the chain. It always breaks the high. It breaks the high and create a new high. So if you're taking your trade, first of all, you might want to continue. You might want to consider placing your take profit at the high of that market before they pull back. So if I was to take this trade from here, this is what I'll consider placing my take profit. And after that, wait some consolidation and I'll still be waiting for the market at the 50 exponential moving average. Then what happened? The market went up without reaching the 50 exponential moving average. I am not bothered because I know once I get the clear opportunity, it is always for me. Okay, here you take a trade from down here. After the news, I guess this must be the news, it is not ordinary. So after taking a safe trade from here, what happened? This is the high of this market, about 121 pips. You take a trade and you take this high of this market, 121 pips. That is a fantastic opportunity. Tell me, with this 50 exponential moving average, you know that if a market is in an uptrend, it always, it always has to go back to the high that it initially created before they pull back. So why not take your trade, set your take profit here, and your call with it. You look for another trading setup that will give you the same thing. Sometimes you might get more than the 50 pips that I always hope for. It's all a win-win. Okay, uh, that being said, uh, now let's look at what happened before this uptrend came to an end, before the downtrend took over. Again, this happened on, uh, let's switch again to four hours and see what four hours is saying. Okay, this is January. We go to March. Are we in March? Really? No. Okay, let's look at what happened before the market changed trend. Bollinger Band and the nine exponential moving average again. Okay, here is a crossover right here. There's a crossover indicating that the trend of the market has changed. Look at where it happened. I don't need to draw lines, support resistance, technical analysis and all that on my chart to know that the trend has changed. I don't need that. I just need this Bollinger Band to tell me that the market has changed direction. Look at how powerful it is. Okay, let's say you, you are a trend rider. You want to ride massive trend. After this market change, when there was a crossover here, you discover that the trend has changed. What happens? If you want to ride the trend for that long, you enter your position from there. How many pips will you get from this market? This is about 860 something pips. Let's just say 850 pips, 825 pips. That is a lot. With the smallest account size, 0 0.01, this is about $80. That's a lot of money. And one thing too you need to know, for those who are trend riders, look at this very well. Let me remove uh, the Bollinger Band for you to really understand this. Look at what the market does around the nine exponential moving average. The crossover took place here, indicating that the trend of the market has changed. But what happens? On four hours, the market keeps bouncing. 
once it enters the nine exponential moving average, it bounces off it and continue selling. Each time the market enters it, from here you can see, the market went down, the market went down. After entering it, the market went down. Same thing keeps happening. And eventually, the crossover took place here, indicating that the market closed above the nine exponential moving average, giving you the notion that the downtrend might be over. So you might want to consider getting out. So if you took your position from up here, you could have gotten your 800 and something pips and you're fine. Once you see this crossover, you get out of the trade. So each and every time, maybe you spotted the market in the nine exponential moving average on four hours, to be precise, on four hours, boom, you enter your position. And that's it, you're cool with it. Okay, now, if you switch to one hour, the same thing happens where you need to get an entry. I already spent a lot of time explaining that. So I'll just uh, go to other pairs or maybe I'll use the same pair to show you exactly when the trend of the market changes and what you need to do, getting an entry. And one thing too you need to understand, no strategy is 100% perfect. There is none. That's why you still need to manage your risks. Keep that in mind. No strategy is 100% perfect. That's why you need to always manage your risks. Okay, from here, you see a crossover, indicating that the downtrend is over. So if you had to go on one hour, you will have gotten an entry in this market. I'm sure this is where we found ourselves. Uh, on four hours, I'm sure this is probably where we were. So what I'm going to do now is remove the nine exponential moving average and then insert the 50 exponential moving average. Okay, so you discover that the downtrend ended somewhere here. So what happened? The market changed trend direction. You noticed it from here when the market broke the nine exponential moving average. And then retested it. Don't forget that. This is a very powerful indicator. So many people criticize it that indicator-based traders, they are lazy. Well, you can say that if you want, but this is what I do. This is what works. The market closed above it, came back down, retested it, and boom, went up. Then what happened? This will have still been a win-win situation for you. If you simply apply trading the, the, the market high, the high that has been created by the market initially. So here we are, the market coming back to retest it, 50 exponential moving average. This is the high of this market. So having been that you took a buy from here, set your take profit up here, you will have, the market will have reached your take profit. Not bad, I guess. Same thing will have happened here. And this is a high that was created at this level before this market came back down into the 50 exponential moving average, where you could have taken a buy from here. And then this high, what happened? The market got to that high and crossed, created, creating a new high. So what happened? You're still safe taking you took a trade from here, you still win the trade, that's it. And then eventually here, the market, I don't know, maybe news or something, but I guess this is not, this is not just how the news works. So the market came back down into the future exponential moving average and was rejected. If you took a buy from here, knowing that this was your, your highest, the high that was created initially, what happened? You will have gotten to your take profit. Then boom, the market came back down here. It took a buy. In this case, it did not reach this high. So what happened? You locked your position from here. The market crossed and closed below it. So now, this is giving you, once this happens, in this case, you did not lose anything. The market hit your 
stop loss at entry. You didn't lose anything. So what happens? You still need to sit tight and observe what is happening in this market. So now you switch to four hours at this level. You switch to four hours and then insert Bollinger Band and the nine exponential moving average. Uh, try to figure out if the trend of the market is changing. If the trend of the market is changing. Good. If not, it's still lucky. You wait for a proper entry above the 50 exponential moving average. So from here, where exactly were we? Okay, from here, this is where we are, I guess. Okay. There is a cross from here indicating that the market has changed trend again. The trend has changed. So what happens? You still have you still have to use the, your 50 exponential moving average on one hour to determine your entry. There's already a cross indicating a change in trend direction. So you switch back to one hour. Remove this keep a clean chart, only insert the 50 exponential moving average to enable you get your entries. So this is probably where we found ourselves. Cross, change in trend direction, we test. From here, maybe you would have taken a trade from here, even though the market is not really touched the 50 exponential moving average. So in this case, you may have not taken the trade. So what happens here? This is the news all agree with me this is the news and since the market has been in a downtrend no matter what happens with the news there's always the market will always come back to maintain the trend continue with the trend especially when the trend is not over yet okay so here it is this is a clean entry this is the lowest of this market what happened if you had taken a trade from here sell boom take profit at this level you will have gotten it all right or maybe if you have the time to monitor once the market got to this low you will have maybe shifted your stop loss secure your profit at some point and allow the market go down again then when the market eventually breaks that low you could shift your stop loss again to the low that low that was initially having your take profit you shift your stop loss to that level protect it if the market wants to come back up you hit your stop loss at that level and you still have your your money still safe so from here you see how powerful the 50 exponential moving average is uh, to be honest with you guys i took this trade from here i took this trade from here and boom that day I made, this is where my low was. I made 74 pips from this particular market. The market went to my take profit. So I sold. After the market got to my uh, 50 exponential moving average. Same thing happened with, uh, and again, I would just like to give you a tip. The market is coming back up to the 50 exponential moving average so you might want to wait for this market here to take this trade okay uh, same day that I took this AUD card I took another another trade to on the euro AUD USD Australian dollar USD oh sorry okay this is it I took this trade to and I made fifty-seven pips from this street because I always target the high of that market. Oh, sorry, the low in the downtrend, the low that was initially created before the pullback. So this is it. I got my fifty-seven pips from this particular street. This is what. These are the trades I took on Friday. That was yesterday. And I made all the money I made. Same thing happened here. 
Remember guys, I told you about, okay, let's go to four hours and see what happened here. For you guys to understand what I'm talking about. Let's see what happens. Okay, do you see the cross I talked about? The cross took place here indicating a downtrend and the news took the market back up and we had a cross here. So what happened? The trend of the market changed. When I detected this, that the trend of this market has changed. What happened? I had to go back to my one hour. Then insert my 50 exponential moving average to wait for an entry. This is what happened before the trend of the market changed. This news, this is the handwork of the news, this coronavirus of the thing. This is what happened. So this is it. The 50 exponential moving average got broken and got retested. Then this is where I took a trade. I took this trade from here. This was yesterday. I took this trade. This is where my take profit was. And I got 50 pips. So you can actually see what I got from the market on Friday by just taking these three trades. These are the only clear trading opportunities that I found on Friday. That was yesterday, Friday, the tech. Those are the clear opportunities I, I found in the market where I clearly had the market coming into the 50 exponential moving average. I had my clear opportunity, so I took it. And again, this was another indication. You see multiple rejections. The market being rejected by the 50 exponential moving average. Same thing happened here when the, the, the market closed above it, came back down to retest it. What happened? The market made an attempt to cross it, but it got rejected, telling you that the market has changed direction. What more do you want? This is what works for me. I keep saying this. This is what works for me. With my risk management in mind, I keep it simple. I would like to, when I took this trade, this is where my stop loss was. I knew that this is the the lowest point of this market after the market changed trend, after the trend of the market changed. This is the lowest point of this market. And if this market comes back down, it will likely not cross this level. Or if it is crossing this level, then it is something else. Then eventually, maybe that trade did not work out the way I initially saw it. So this is where my stop loss was about uh, something like, yeah, I guess it was something like, more like uh, 15 pips below the lowest point of this market. So my stop loss was like somewhere here. After I discovered that this is the lowest point of this market, after the market changed direction. So stop loss 15 pips below that level, just to be safe. Took my trade and boom my take profit. I got out. I got out of this street before, honestly, before 10 a.m. So before 10 a.m. yesterday, Friday, I already made about 150 pips. And I got out of the market. I had to concentrate on other things of the day. Considering the fact that it was Friday, I didn't need to stay in the market. I didn't want to carry trades over to during the weekend. So I just went out with my 150 pips and I was cool with it. Uh, that is just the basics. That is just all you need to know about the strategy I am using. First of all, you need to trade with a trend. That's one thing you always have to do. Trade the trend. Don't go against the trend. And for you to know when the trend has come to an end, you use the nine exponential moving average and the Bollinger Band. That is just the key. You just use your stop loss to be safe, especially when you don't have time to monitor the trade. I just use my stop loss because it is necessary. I don't want to come back and I made surprises. 
So when I'm doing other things, I just use my stop loss. But when I have time to monitor the chain, I don't use a stop loss. So that is just how simple my trading strategy is. And I hope it will help someone. And again, don't forget, in a situation like this, where you have uh, the market is uh, playing with your psychology, like right here, a break retest and made an attempt to go up. What happened? If you are taking a buy from here, you keeping in mind that this is the high of this market. And don't forget, don't always get too greedy. If not, the market will kick you out or you end up losing instead. Don't get too greedy. Assuming you took a buy from here, maintaining that this is the high of this market, you said you take profit here. What happens? The market must, will have gotten to your take profit before this crazy move. But all the same, if you need to understand what is happening in that market, you can always switch. You can always switch to 30 minutes or so. You can switch to 30 minutes. I'm sure things might be clearer there. On 30 minutes, you get something. And uh, you'll be able to study what is happening. If 30 minutes is not giving you enough information, you switch to 15 minutes. But I, I will have to maintain the position that if you are not sure about what you are getting yourself into in terms of the trading opportunity, don't take it. Yes, that's the thing. Don't take it. Stay out of it. To be safe. Stay out of it. Okay, that is that for the trading strategy. You can always just, after determining the trend, the change in trend of the market, you can always just use your, you can see how powerful this thing is. You enter yourself from, this is exactly where you will have maybe taken, start taking yourself. You see the market break the 50 exponential moving average, what happened? Came back to retest it. And after retesting, it went down. Came into it, went down. Approached it went down. You can see how powerful this thing is. Came into the 50 exponential moving average, it went down. So if, let's say in one week, you figure this out and you're taking this, your trade. You take this trade from here, from up here. Let's say this was the lowest point, 70, 40 something pips. You get your 40 something pips and you get out. You wait for the market again here get another 40 something pips or even more. This was the lowest point of this market, 70 something pips in this case, you can see, you get out. That is just how you keep riding the train, keep trading with the train and making your money. It is that simple. You don't need to stress. If in one week you decide that you're trading only this particular pair, tell me how you lose money. You, you, if your account is maybe just ten dollars, because for me when I want to make a deposit, I don't do anything more than ten dollars. This strategy, and at the end of the day, I always just get about a hundred percent, two hundred percent of my account every week. Two hundred percent. You get this. How much is this? First trading opportunity that I got from here. He gave you four dollars. This one gave you seven dollars. That is already more than 100% of your account. Maybe within few two days, 100% of your account. And within one week, just these opportunities, you get more than 100% of your account. Trading just one pair. If you have to go to other pairs, you discover that you have other opportunities. That is unique case where you open just a single position. You open just a single position and you're cool. That is what happens. But 
let me give you a tip. If you want to have so many positions running on that particular on that particular uh, setup, what you can do is this. You notice something. Okay, let's go back to one hour and uh, I'll mark this soon. Okay. Assuming that uh, after this break, after this break and uh, this retest, this retest indicating that the trend of the market has changed. This is exactly where we are. I put the line there so that when I go to 15 minutes, I'll know exactly what I need to do. Okay, this is it. Eventually, this was the high of this market. Okay, that may not be valid here, but uh, it's okay. Um, this is not going to work in this case. Okay, so this is it. Uh, I'll just say this class has come to an end. You've already gotten what I needed you to get, so that is just it. You go to other pairs, you still see the magic happening. You see the magic happening. So assuming you, after studying price action at this level, what happens? Uh, you spot some kind of funny moves here. After the market hit this 50 exponential moving average here, what happens? You take a sell. This maybe would have given you something like you took a sell from here. And when it's already 20 pips, you lock your position. And then this is the lowest point of this market. What happened? 70 pips. But the market might decide to go back up without giving you 70 pips. So what happens? You decided to lock your profit. The market came back, hit your stop loss at entry. Then what? You wait. Try to understand what is happening. Maybe the market is trying to play with you or maybe mess up with your mind. You study press action. What is happening? Switch to 30 minutes. Try to understand what is happening. If you don't understand, you switch to 15 minutes. Understand what is happening in that market before taking a safe trade. Eventually, the market is still in the right direction. And in most cases, for those who have a very, very high risk appetite, remember what happened here. This market broke, made an attempt to retest, but what happened? Uh, it failed, the market went back up. Creating a certain high. Initially, it was in an uptrend, so this is a high that the market was unable to maybe pass, to go above it. So what do you do? You know that if at all this market has to disobey you, if this setup has to fail, it has to go back up to this high. And if it gets to this high, that's when maybe you open a cell from here, you were in a haze, you just took the cell. Maybe you got distracted for, for a minute and what happened? You discovered that you just came back to realize that your trade was in a loss. So in this case, what you have to do is you try to figure out the high of that market in a case where you're selling. What's the high of this market? This is where it is. So this is where this market is heading to. Those are one of the things that Rony taught us. You need to know where the market is coming from and where it is going to. So what you do is, uh, this is it. Look at this high. So assuming you open one cell position from here, here, what happened? The market decided to go against you. You will see your account turning red, red, red. How many pips? This is it. Let me go to the highest point, 70 something pips. Okay, at this point, you discover that this is the high of this market. 
all you could do at this point was open another cell from here. You open a cell position from here, the market came back down right into your favor. Right? You open a cell, boom, the market came down. Came back down. And you won't only get the how many pips that you will have gotten from here, you won't only get 70 pips, but since you took a recovery position from up here, you will get 150 pips from this position up here and 70 pips from this position down. 150 plus 70, do the math. So you see how effective this thing is. This is what I do, and this is exactly what happened to me once. I'm just telling you, this is a strategy I've been using for a while, so I'm just telling you uh, how I always manage uh, situations like this. So if you find yourself in the same position, this is how you can do it. And it's, it works for me. At the end of the day, uh, there is always a win-win. It is always a win-win situation. Okay, after the market got to this level, what happened? Hit your take profit, came back down, came back up, 50 exponential moving average, boom, came back down. Coming back to this low, hitting your take profit. You didn't hit your take profit, but you went back, maybe hit your stop loss. At entry, you could have opened another position, you were still in your favor. All right, guys, uh, I guess that is clear enough. This is already getting too long. This is already op an opportunity that I'm seeing to take on Monday. It's already an opportunity that I'm looking at to take on Monday. Unless my, uh, my darling indicator tells me otherwise, okay, I'm already seeing something like the market is about to change direction. Okay, so I'll just have to ignore this opportunity. I'll ignore it and look at what is happening. Maybe the trend is about to change. So I'll just wait. All right, guys, uh, that is just too much for one day. This video is really too long. But all the same, uh, I like to, if you have any question, you can always get back to me and uh, I'll try my best.